Hi, I'm David Schmidt from Adobe. I'm on the Flash platform product marketing team. Can you talk about the announcement that was here at Google I.O. today? Yeah, Google announced that they're open sourcing the VP8 video codec, and that's a pretty important announcement for the web, and uh, having an open standard for uh, video is important to kind of move multimedia in the right direction. Um, and also, Adobe today announced that we will be supporting uh, VP8 in Flash Player for video playback. And the timing is yet to be determined, but in a future version of Flash Player, we'll be supporting VP8. So what does that mean to the average consumer when you say that VP8 is going to be supported? I mean, like right now it's uh, H.264, which, which is a license protocol. So when the average consumer says, why do I care about VP8, why, why should they care? Well, the average consumer doesn't really know what codec they're using, but it's going to become more and more important to content creators who um, want to make sure that whatever their video is produced in, whatever format it's produced in, can be viewed. And the thing that Adobe can bring is by supporting VP8 in Flash Player, when that version gets propagated out, billions of, P of uh, PCs will now be able to watch VP8 video regardless of the browser they're using, which is still going to be a fragmented situation as VP8 support gets slowly integrated to browsers. So Flash supporting VP8 in the future version will really help propagate the ability for people to, to play back VP8 um, and encourage content developers to start using this new open format. So do you think that, uh, because every, everyone's kind of dumping on Adobe right now, because I mean, Flash was the only thing around from like in the past 10 years while we were waiting for HTML5 to come out. So do you think that this is going to like, kind of help your image or help uh, the uh, how, how much resources your Flash uses on the web? Do you think VP8 is going to contribute to Flash being lighter eventually? or? Well, Flash has always uh, supported the most popular video codecs like VP6 and H.264. And as far as hardware acceleration, uh, that does require support from the hardware. So one of the things that Google is trying to do is get their hardware uh, hardware partners to start creating chips and graphic processors that will accelerate VP8. And when that happens, Flash will take advantage of that as well uh, from a performance standpoint. And our new version of Flash 10.1 on Mac and PC is now supporting hardware accelerated playback of H.264. So you get great high quality video, full screen, with minimal CPU usage. Yeah, netbooks are very excited about Flash 10. Right. We're going to have full web yep, on uh, current, current atom chips. You know, you'll hear some more. We're, 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 there's a release candidate up on labs at adobe.com. You can enjoy that on your netbook today. And a uh, final version will be coming out before the end of the first half of the year. Excellent. Now, you have a demo to show us? Yeah, we actually have uh, kind of an engineering demo of uh, VP8 running um, on YouTube in a browser. And I might have to, here we go. Do you have any literature? So it's, uh, as you can see here, there's a format 28, and that's the new uh, format that YouTube is now starting to encode videos in VP8. And most people will not be able to play this video back, but we have a special engineering build of Flash Player here that's running um, the VP8 codec in YouTube. And you can see the quality is fantastic. Uh, and. Um, we're excited to, to help move the standard forward. Excellent. Well, David, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us today. No problem.